Hello everyone, I'm Rodney for TheGameMan.com and this Q&A video is about the power specs for the NVIDIA GeForce GTX gaming video cards. A question that I get asked a lot is, what size power supply do I need for this video card? Well, this Q&A video should clear all that up. Now remember that the recommended system power is based upon a computer system with a single video card. And with that, let's begin. Now something that's very important is when selecting a power supply, get one that's brand name from a reputable company. So first up is the 745 OEM video card. The power is 55 watts. The recommended system power is 300 watts, but it doesn't require any power connections. The 750 is the same, it's 55 watts. The recommended system power is 300 watts and doesn't require any power connectors. The 750 Ti consumes a little bit more power at 60 watts. The recommended system power though is the same at 300 and again, it doesn't require any power connectors. A big jump here with the 760 at 170 watts. The recommended system power is 500 watts and it requires two six pin power connectors. Now there's actually a drop in power when going to the 760 192 bit OEM video card. It's 130 watts. The recommended system power is 450 watts and it requires one six pin power connector. The 760 Ti OEM video card consumes 170 watts. The recommended system power is 500 watts and it requires two six pin power connectors. A substantial increase in power here with the 770 at 230 watts. The recommended system power is 600 watts and it requires two power connectors, one eight pin and one six pin. The 780, the 780 Ti, as well as the Titan and the Titan Black all have the same power specs. They're all 250 watts. The recommended system power is 600 watts and they have two power connections, one eight pin and one six pin. And finally here in the 700 series, the Titan Z, which consumes 375 watts. The recommended system power is 700 watts, but remember you should have a power supply that has a 42 amp single plus 12 volt rail and it requires two eight pin power connectors. Now onto the 900 series. The 950 consumes 90 watts. The minimum recommended system power is 350 watts and it requires one six pin connector. The 960 consumes 120 watts. The minimum recommended system power is 400 watts and it requires one six pin power connector. The 970 is 145 watts. The recommended system power is 500 watts and it requires two six pin power connectors. The 980 consumes 165 watts. The recommended system power is 500 watts and it requires two six pin power connectors. And finally, the 980 Ti and Titan X video cards have the same power specs. They both consume 250 watts. The recommended system power is 600 watts and they require two power connectors, one eight pin and one six pin. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you think this video is great, plus the other ones that I do, like them, subscribe, share. Your comments are always welcome, and if you have a question for me, post away, and I'll try to get to it as soon as possible.